at that moment I knew I was like RL is the key to AGI because it's the only thing I saw in um, in the field of AI that I thought like this is a self perpetuating infinite machine where it can get better and better and better. And now RL has had like a big journey, like it became famous, then it became not famous, and uh -huh. now it's famous again. But I think like it eventually this, I mean, you want to call it RL, you want to call it anything else, but this self propelling machine of getting, self improvement machine is the, the thing that's going to get us there. As I said, like when I started in the field, RL was basically an unknown. People were very skeptical of it. And then through the work at DeepMind, through the work at OpenAI and, and academic labs, uh, I think slowly like DQN happened, AlphaGo happened, Dota happened, and all these like uh, uh, amazing things started happening in RL. And the world started becoming more and more aware. So like the first conference I went to, there were 10 papers on RL. And then by 2015 or 2016 in Europe, it was, I can't remember, there was so much crowd in the reinforcement learning workshop there are over 500 people had filled wow. the room and they couldn't let anyone else in because they said it's like over capacity, right? Wow. So I went from seeing the field from nothing to that and the big hype. And then, you know, 2021 happened, ChatGPT happened and um, uh, like it was kind of a shock to, to the world, to everyone, uh, specifically the RL world uh, because in RL we used to train from scratch all the time. Like we like initialize a neural network doing random things and then and then train from there. And now there's the shift in paradigm of like training from scratch. No one does that anymore. <laughs> so then RL went through a bit of a dip, right? Like people didn't want to work in RL. People thought like, okay, maybe RL isn't the way forward and supervised learning and fine tuning uh, or like learning from internet data is the only way forward. So now has come this paradigm that like pretty much most of the flops that are spent in training these models are now going towards reinforcement learning. Mm -hmm. It used to be that pre-training and SFT used to dominate in the number of compute flops that you spent on it. Now RL is dominating because we've realized we get to a certain point, but to go beyond that point, you need the agent to be able to do experiments.